Right, so good morning. Sunday morning. I've uh, been and done a bit of work uh, with Rob, doing some gates and whatnot. So we've come back and he's looking after me again. So I've had this box for months now, um, but it's just by the by, we're going to get on with it now. So we're just looking at a way now of taking the spare wheel off the back, putting this on, but just so it gives me a bit more versatility, uh, we're going to get the Lifesaver jerry can and we're going to mount it to the rear of the vehicle where it's got easy access for everybody around camp and whatnot for clean water. Um, we're going to put a jerry can on the side. Don't know whether I use it or not, but just me being a weirdo, it's got to be symmetrical. And by the time we've got the Lifesaver and a jerry can either side of that, it's about the same width as the spare wheel on the other side, so it doesn't look uneven. Um, that's kind of the plan, so let's see where we go. <laughs> Basically, the issue that we've come on to is I was going to put this on here like that so it all looks nice and even. I was going to camo this, um, but the problem is when we open this, it fouls on here. So that doesn't work. So that cannot go on there. We've looked at other different ways of mounting it, like we've turned this that way and then we've put the cans on top of it, but it just ends up too tall few other little bits and pieces we've tried every which way so what what rob's going to do is he's going to make the bracket for this bolt it onto here i'm going to take it home offer it up and then possibly i've got some five and some 10 liter cans um i'm going to put off of them up here and look at making a bracket for that between this hinge and this hinge here um and then i can keep me red diesel in that for fire lighting and night heater I've got my clean water there and I can keep my oils and whatnot and gas and things in there out of the way of the camper van. Okay, so that's the plan so far. So the thing is, the reason I'm doing this is, one, I've got external water. I like to have a vehicle where people can go, can I just grab some water? Can I just get this? Yeah, it's there, mate. I have got an onboard water tank before anyone goes, what about the onboard water? The onboard water is just straight whatever I fill into it. It's, I class it as, clean grey water so you can wash your pots in it you can wash yourself in it you could drink it at a push but I wouldn't want to because um, it's been in the camper for I don't know how long with the lifesaver system you just know it's clean drinkable potable water so I can go from the I've got the little um, front runner tap on the back of the landing so I can take that off put it underneath fill it up off the tank of the vehicle and put it in there and I know I've got something that's safe to drink that's the idea behind it um, the other thing as well is I've got loads of um, engine oils, gearbox oils, things like that, um, gas, what have you. It's all in the vehicle. It's stuff I don't want in a living space. If it was a normal Land Rover loaded up, no dramas. Man's getting, it's starting to get nicer and nicer as a camper van. So I'm trying to keep things kind of clean, if you know what I mean, and smelling decent. Hence, keep all the mucky stuff outside. Right, I've known Rob for a million years, but one thing with him is he's not one of these people that go, I can't do this, I won't do this, he's, he's flexible. So what I'm trying to encourage him to do is do more bespoke vehicle, trailer. You've seen him, he does all the fabrication for the trailers and things. So what we're going to do is if he's pulled his finger out enough, there'll be a, li a link in the, uh, the bottom below to his email. So if you do have any bits and pieces, you do have any obscure work or something like that, you can see from this place, he is fitted out to do most things, and you do you do some very industrial work, don't you? I do. So don't forget people, subscribe and like the channel as well. <laughs>
his one you made earlier. So can you kind of see where we're going with this now, people? We've left a little bit of room so we can put a little bit of spongy foam or something down the outside to stop it knocking it and basically it, wearing it. That's it, because what, what you've got to bear in mind is this is plastic. Um, if I'm going down some undulating surface, surfaces, um, you know, really, really rough terrain, like, I don't know, the A1 or any of the roads around Rotherham, um, you, it's, it's just going to rub and rub and rub and rub till you get a leak. So there's got to be a tiny bit of room for some felt so it sits and rubs the felt or the bit rubber. Of rubber. Yeah. Bit of rubber or something, isn't it? Yeah. Like a bit of rubber, don't we, Rob? Yeah. Talk about that We're off camera, Rich, all right? <laughs> So what he's just done here is he's just nipped off. See this corner? So there's a gap there and there because this is going to be upright on the rear of the vehicle. So water's going to go down and collect and pull. Whereas if we've got these on all four corners, no matter where the vehicle sits, that water can drain off and it won't accumulate because there's nothing worse than scummy road filth and all the rest of it all building up, all going down there. Plus as well, when the vehicle's jet washed and everything, there's an escape for it. Um, the other thing as well is, I'm having a checker plate to the inside. One, it's less surface area touching, and two, it gives a smoother surface that I can then paint along with this as well, so I can get the camouflage on. Some people would like that kind of Gucci checker plate finish on the outside, but you know what I'm like, I have to paint everything. Right, so what's going on now, basically, because I'm not going to be able to fit the jerry can because of the hinges, I'm making another tray that's the same width, but what I'm going to do, my big uh, kinetic rope at the minute is wound round one of my spare wheels, which is fine, um, but if I'm off-road, something like that, it's a bit of a pain to get on and off and stuff, so I'm making another little tray that comes out, I'm going to roll it all up, nice and tight, into the box, strap it down, jobs are good on. So that's going to go in there, and then instead of having the big, big jerry can on there, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to measure up a 5 and a 10 litre one for the top part. And pretty much it's just going to have a bit of cherry in it, something like that, for the night heater or lighting a fire, that kind of thing. Um, it's just another go to, isn't it? I like, you know what I'm like, I like my options. So anyway, before we get too far in this, if you're enjoying it, give us a like. And if you're not subscribed already, subscribe for more because we've got the lorry build, the trailer build, the landy build plus all the other uh, bushcraft vi uh, videos and all the other build videos going on. So yeah, subscribe. Right, so we've got the lifesaver jerry can holder there we've got the rope holder there uh, when i get home and i've got the smaller um, little jerry can that i'm going to mount there we'll know the measurements but we haven't got that today because the plan was to put the big one on but we're evolving with it um bear with we've took the seal out now because we didn't want to burn that that was rob's good thinking uh, and now because what i'm going to do is i'm going to go from the six kg bottle gas down to the smaller bottle gas uh, then I can have a shelf in there, which Rob's just bending me up now. Um, and that can be done in such a way where I can rivet that any height that I want. Uh, it's also leaving me a gap down the back that I can run pipes or um, cable, anything like that. I'll probably have a charging port in here because everyone's always wanting to charge the phones up. So if I just stick electric in here, I can leave this open. People can charge the phones, what have you, because I'm nice like that sometimes. Just, just sometimes. Uh, so yeah, that's that's about that one. Then we just need a, a little bit so when the, the lifesaver's in, we can uh, lock it off so no scrope nicks me 300 quid water filter. So, so, that goes in there. Through 
So here we go, that's where the recovery rope's going to go in there. He's put me on some lovely, lovely little tabs here. These bits here, going to have a couple of little holes in here so I can lash down. But basically, when this is on the back door, I can chuck um, my swag bag on the back of here, just lash it down, um, firewood, anything like that. It gives just one more option because you know what it's like on a flat surface when you're in the woods or something. It's at a premium, so you can put your brews on there, you can put stuff on, it can't roll off because of this and this. Uh, I'm not going to have anything on the sides because, like I say, the swag can go over or whatever, and it's, it's just nicely held in. But yeah, we've got that on. Obviously, the bolt goes through there from the inside, which that's locked, so it just makes it a little harder for someone to steal. Um, it's not perfect, but it's a vehicle in it. They can nick all sorts off it. Them trays on there. We'll get this painted now. Let's get this home, get it fastened to the vehicle, and we'll chuck some paint about. Right, so you can see, spare wheel. A lot of people go, oh, it's too heavy. Right, it's not as heavy as a wolf wheel and tyre, okay? So there's no real drama there. Um, people saying, oh, well, you can't put these on these doors. And it's a coach-built Land Rover, right? This has been off-road. It's done thousands of miles with these on. Not an issue at all. So that's that one quashed, isn't it, for the internet experts. So what we're going to do, as you can see, that there is going to fit that there. So time to strip this off. kilograms because that's so far behind the axle as well this makes a significant difference so I'm going to unbolt this now get that off and what we're going to try and do is I'm going to try and use some of these existing holes because uh, I don't think this uh, Land Rover needs any more holes or air gaps or anything else for that matter What I'm doing now, just taking off the tools on here. Uh, I've also noticed that most of my tools are missing, so that's something else. So I'm gonna have to find where they all are, whether they're in the cubby box or chucked in the boot, or uh, they found the way to my works van or whatnot. So I'll replenish all this when I'm uh, back and done. Um, this is basically, this is a huge excuse for a massive reorganise because what I'm doing, uh, I've just gone through all my cooking gear and everything. I'm now going to go through all my vehicle first aid kit, my recovery gear, my tools, all things like that. Get everything squared away in their own little pouches, bags, boxes and things. Uh, label everything up and just generally get on top of stuff because I've got the gear in here. I'm just sick of rummaging through 10 things to get to what I want, which is just bad admin, isn't it? So if I can kind of get all that in order, um, life will just be a lot easier when I need stuff and as well as that I'm carrying two and three of things when I can just clear a lot of it out right so the joys of working on my own is I've got the steps here and I've got this balanced on to get the correct height because I've already marked it up um, you probably not see it on there um, do not fall off. do not fall off right so I've basically I've opened this up pushed it up against it uh, pushed a scribe through this side which has then given me three holes here i'll drill these holes i'll get those three bolts in which in turn that will hold it enough that i can then put three more bolts in jobs are good um these ones aren't going to match up unfortunately so what i'll do is i'll put a nut and a bolt back in there just to seal those holes that's good because that makes all the difference on a 30 year old land rover so there we go that's true land rover fit and finish so yeah, first bolt in, I'll, I'll tighten that up, square it up, get the other ones in, and then drill the other holes. Special. Right, so we've got the option of uh, zipping these down with the grinder. I'm going to leave them long at the minute. Reason being, if I want to put something on the inside of there, I have now got some bolts uh, already through. It's kind of structural that I can bolt to.
So yeah, this is just, uh, it's a little bit tight here. I was a bit worried about this, but it does clip on. This clips off when you're in transit. Um, give it a few pumps on here. Then you get your water here. It's fairly simple. Um, I mean, you can unbolt this, have it as a tap, whatever you want to do, but as is, that's not bad, is it? Then when you're done, turn that off. Spray a bit of excess out. And it's just a little push fitting in here that's not made for my hands. Like I say, most people wouldn't have this on tight on here. Probably need to turn that the other way, actually. But yeah, that pops off. I'm going to put a little, I won't mind a bit of a, a net thing there. Put the hose in there. Ideally, I'm thinking small gas bottle, bag of charcoal, something like that in the bottom bit. Put a shelf across here, then leaves me all this that I can put things like um, oils and things like that in, you know, emergency kit. Might even put recovery in it. I don't know. I really don't know yet. Just struggling at the minute. I'm going to get a Thule Omnister awning, um, the black one, the wind out jobby. Uh, I cannot find anywhere that's got the three metre ones in black at the minute. So if anybody knows, give us a shout because uh, I've looked and they all seem to be sold or ridiculously big. So that's the next thing. So I can get that. So it's boom, straight out. Drop the table down. Got all the gear in there. Good to go, isn't it? And like I say, on this side, recovery rope will go in there, and then we've got another jerry can just to go on the side there, just so it's a bit more symmetrical. Jerry can for the bread diesel, for the night eater, lighting fires, etc, etc. Right, so there we go. Um, not quite finished, like I say. I've still got the recovery rope to go in there, get a small jerry can amount up there. Once I've got the smaller gas bottle, I can put it in there with quick adapters on the outside of it, open it up there'll be a shelf up to it um i'm 50 50 whether i put my cooking gear in there so it's outside just right there um not quite sure yet i'll work it out as i go along um usual questions uh lifesaver jerry can link in the description below uh metal box uh ebay uh fabrication work uh if rob's done the uh, uh email link below um i think that's about it just a bit of an update and everything and yeah a bit more work done so if you've uh, found this useful if you haven't already if you can like and comment down below let youtube know it's a decent channel and to promote us a little bit more and uh, yeah see you on the next one cheers